What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Exquisite Gaming. Awesome news for those of you uh, Clone Wars Adventures fans out there. We have another emulator. No, this is not connected to the other emulators that I've been showcasing on my channel, the ones that are made through Blender by uh, a guy named Joshua Panola. This is different, different creator. I'm not sure who he is. Different uh, game system. Everything has been revamped. The graphics, as you can see, are phenomenal. Uh, Coruscant looks amazing. This, you know, I would honestly say this looks almost better than the original Clone Wars Adventures. I haven't seen <laughs> Coruscant look this good since maybe Star Wars Your Public in a video game. Like, Coruscant has never looked this good. I've never seen it look this good. Um, here we have the vendor area. Uh, there's not much to do. I think this is the first, um, first test, first uh, version of this emulator. It's not perfect. It has some issues. But by far, it is the best looking one. Another problem this uh, emulator has is the way you control your character. You have to use the mouse button and kind of like follow him as you guide him with the, with the arrow keys. It's, it's very annoying, but I figured out if you just use a mouse, hold the left and right button, he will go wherever you move him to whilst also holding you know, the uh, arrow keys, WASD or the arrow keys up and down. Uh, okay, so... A lot of people have been asking, hey, um, that emulator that you showed, that, those aren't by me, I haven't created them, I'm just a guy who loves games, who loves Star Wars, especially Clone Wars and prequel stuff, and I love showcasing it to you guys. Um, so I haven't made this, I haven't made the other one, I just didn't show it to you guys, it looks awesome, and I know you guys are going to love it. First of all, we have the first room on the right here, which is the workshop area. Uh, it looks much better than it, than it did previously with the Blender version. Uh, the graphics have been kicked up I think. oh extravagantly I can't even compare this looks amazing that being said the other one the blender emulator that I've been showcasing is still really good for nostalgia there's a lot of game modes there there's a lot, lot more things to do more places to visit um, but this one is much more smoother the visuals are incredible uh, it's just, it's much more brighter, it's more vivid, it's more alive. You feel the city of Coruscant, you can even see cars flying around. It, this looks like Coruscant. Uh, on the left here we have the Jedi Library. This one is, yeah, it's, it's amazing. The walls of the library are bright, they look awesome. Everything here is just, it's vivid, it's alive. I love it. Um, hopefully, if this game ever does come to life, if Disney or Sony and all that crap, if they don't shut this down, this version may be the one to come to life. The, uh, the Blender version is awesome, you know, but it's, it's even, as the creator stated, a semi-emulator, a mini one, just for nostalgic purposes. He had no intentions of bringing it back online, or at least I think he didn't. It was, it was a Blender game. It's very hard to bring a Blender game into this massive community online thing like Star Wars Galaxies did. Star Wars Galaxies used the original game engine, and all, although it's not perfect, it works, you know, the same way the original game worked. Exactly the same, probably not, but almost everything is identical to the way it was. This one, I, w I still wouldn't compare this to exactly like the original, but it's as close as we're probably going to get. Um, the stairs here are a bit of a mess. The first time I tried to go up, it kind of blocked me. I just figured out that if you jump your way through, you kind of make your way through. Here we have the, uh, this little Jedi meditation room. Even through the windows, you can still see the city. It still looks awesome. Cars flying by. It genuinely feels like an actual planet. That being said, this is the only planet at the moment. I haven't been able to find uh, Ryloth or anything like that. Or Umbara. It's just this one, which is fine. Coruscant is awesome. I love Coruscant. One of my favorite planets from Star Wars. And I'm fine with this. Of course, it does. It, it hopefully will be updated again. We're going to get more versions of it with more stuff, possibly some new mini games, some new locations. Um, I don't think they can upgrade the graphics more than they have here. It looks pretty, it's, it's amazing here. But it's still possible to render the game a bit more. There's also this thing I'll show you at the end that I figured out we could do. Um, this is the main lobby. I have so many memories of just standing here waiting, especially during the end of the game. So many people would come online, the servers would just go insane. Your character would hardly be able to move, but although it sounds terrible, it, it, Kind of makes you nostalgic of your childhood. Here on the right, you have the cantina. This is the first cantina room. Um, I tried to put the volume down. It's very hard to record whilst also putting the volume down of the video. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. I'm hoping it's not too loud. Uh, let's see what happens. 
there you have the second cantina room two different songs playing each one if you jump down there i don't know if you can but i've tried on the other one it's very annoying to get back up so i'm not going to try again here we have another window even the window looks like an actual window you can see shades of it i love it um one thing i did notice coruscant does look a lot like tatooine for some reason if you take away the flying uh cars you speeders you kind of it does look a lot like tatooine it's very yellow like um just no twin suns of course oh my goodness i love that i love seeing things like that you know just oh i love star wars all right let's head out of here show you the rooms on the left like i said no mini games in this one it's you know still in progression i'm enjoying it if this game ever does get revitalized i'd like to see this version get revitalized the graphics are amazing everything looks vivid the water looks like water the windows look like windows coruscant looks like coruscant um of course this is the only character you can play as i'm assuming it's a clone a lot of people say it's captain rex but you got to remember that every single clone is a clone they, they look exactly the same they're clones of each other so who knows really and here we have the Starfighter area. In the emulator, you come here, you can play this Starfighter mode. Not exactly like the other one, but similar. Uh, in the other one as well, you could come talk to this guy. He could send you to any location you want, of course. Like I said, no locations. You can also come get past this area. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh man, this is amazing. All right, let's head out of here and I can show you the combat area. It's a little room where in the other emulator that I've been showing, and if you want to try that one, you still can uh, go through my videos. There's a site on it. There's a link in all those videos, the tutorial videos, which you can download it from. I'll also leave a link to this one you can download it from. I highly suggest checking it out if you're a fan of the game. If you're not, you know, there's not really much to do besides explore. But if you want, yeah, sure, why not? Um, yeah, I'm not going to jump down because unlike the previous ones, there is no elevator. You'll basically get stuck down there, then I have to pause the video. Uh, start the game again and it's gonna become a hassle so I'm not gonna jump down there because there's really not much down there uh, towards the, your right just here on the other emulator you have a combat little thing you can play as yeah I've I've released the um, the right hand button and just using the left it's not very easy the character just kind of the camera doesn't follow where the character goes but like I said left and right and move around much easier all right, let's head out of here. I think we've seen every room, have we? Uh, yes, we have seen the uh, launch area, the lobbies, the cantina, the other room. I completely forgot what it was. Um, I'm curious, what's in here again? Cantina, the one was in the other one. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> um, wait, did we check? No, no, let's double check just in case. God, I'm losing my mind. Okay, what's in here? Ah oh, yes, we haven't come into here yet. Okay, this is the introduction room. A um, This is where you basically start. There's a cutscene here that launches you into the awesome virtual world. Obviously, that's not here, but it does look pretty cool. If I had to compare this to a game, I would say this looks a lot like Star Wars The Old Republic with a Clone Wars skin to it. Of course, it doesn't look exactly like it, but the lights, the way the lights work, um, is kind of like playing The Old Republic on Ultra. This area, specifically over here, if you can see my mouse, um, reminds me a lot of the, this, the Sith ship. If you play the game on Ultra, the uh, visuals, the, the Sith ship is just littered with red luminous colors. It looks really, really good. Um, and I can see a bit of it here. Looks pretty cool. Um, no, let's get out of here. <laughs> There's this thing that I will show you. Obviously, this isn't something I reckon. Well, I don't know. Star Wars fans are Star Wars fans. They'll do anything to get, you know, more Star Wars stuff. Uh, obviously, you can't jump over here, and there's no life or death or anything like that. So if, if you do jump down here, you die. Or well, sorry, you don't die. Um, you basically can't because there's an invisible wall. But I figured out a way to do it. You jump here, you walk straight, and you jump right down. And now you have an entire city to explore. Is it easy? No, because it's a massive city. It's huge. And most of it is just kind of sandbox. Um, your character doesn't run much faster than that. He's still going down the walls of the Jedi Temple. All right. Um, I believe I've shown every room. Um, yep, that wall. That's big. Um, there's no sound here. It's just very quiet, which makes sense because this wasn't intended for people to explore. I don't think they're meant to. Um, I'm hoping that in time we will see Umbara. Uh, I've seen Kamino in the other... Uh, in the other emulator but that I've, i don't remember visiting camino um it's possible that we did i just i didn't play that much as a kid because my computer was always shit it wouldn't work that much 
Um, I only got into it during the time it was about to end, and then even then I didn't experience the full game, you know? I just experienced parts of it. And although it was little bits, those parts were enough to just make me want more. Uh, um, and Kamino is not something I remember visiting or going into. Like Umbara, I remember. Uh, Ryloth, obviously the starting area. But uh, everything else, I just... I don't... No idea. <laughs> Um, so this has been the new emulator, like I said, link in the description, download it if, you're, if you love the game, if you played as a kid, you will probably enjoy this. Can we jump up walls? Uh, no, we can walk through them, okay. Uh, obviously this isn't rendered properly, this part was mainly designed for look and aesthetic, it wasn't designed for you to explore, I'm just being me and doing really stupid things. Um, so yeah, try it out if you're a fan, if you want more on the emulator, go through my channel, I have a playlist which I'll link in the description below also. There's a couple of Clone Wars Adventures videos, and below there are some Clone Wars Adventures emulator videos. Check those out, and there you can download the other emulator, which is also very fun to play, very fun to explore. Last update was in November, I believe. Check that out. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment what you think below. Do you think this game will return in all its glory and majesty? You know, it's possible. The Old Republic is still out there. I love it. Um... There has been talk of it eventually coming to an end, you know, Bioware isn't really putting much effort into it, every now and then they release something new, but it's really not much. Uprisings came out with Knights of the Fallen Empire, sorry, Knights of the Eternal Throne expansion, but even those weren't amazing, they were just like 10 minute flashpoints that you finish in a second. You could even solo them if you really wanted to. Um, I wouldn't want it to end, you know, hopefully with another expansion they can actually fix the game. At the moment there's nothing wrong with it, there, uh, there is a few things wrong with it. But it's fine, the story is still, as always, amazing, but, you know, it, it's just, there's not much to do. Once you finish the story, you finish the camp, the single player modes, well, it's not really a single player, but because most of the stories you basically have to play them on your own, uh, once you finish that there's not much left to do. O operations don't come out anymore, flashpoints, yeah, they're just the same ones over and over again, besides the uprisings, there's not much to do. Um, Visceral Gaming is working on something, possibly an RPG. We don't know for sure if it's an MMO or RPG. We don't know for sure what it could be. Could it be 1313 returning, Star Wars 1313? Maybe a Darth Maul game, the one that got shut down a while ago. Maybe Knights of the Old Republic 3, who knows? That wouldn't happen because that then they'd have to make KOTOR 1 and 2 canon and probably the Old Republic. So I wouldn't imagine a KOTOR 3, it just it wouldn't happen because all games that are being released by Disney now are going to be canon. Uh, Star Wars Uprisings is canon, Battlefront, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, all stuff like that is canon. And all like Clone Wars Adventures, there's not much to be canon, but if it was, it really wouldn't make much of a difference. <laughs> it's just an online game. Um, yeah. I hope one day we'll see this game again, you know, mini games, uh, we get to talk with people, build guilds and all that stuff. I won't get my hopes up though, because there's a big chance the game could be shut down. This one even could be shut down. Obviously, even if it was, if you downloaded it, they can't get rid of it for you, because, you know, you've already downloaded it on your computer, and if you keep those files forever, they really can't get rid of it, because it's yours. It's on your computer. Um, but they could very easily remove it off the internet. Star Wars is owned by Disney. Disney doesn't want things dragging uh, profits away from games like Battlefront and whatever else they have planned. Um, maybe even a Rebels game, maybe a Rebels MMO, similar to Clone Wars Adventures. It's just a thought, it could work out. But anyway, this is it guys for the video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment, whatever. I will see you guys in the next video. Farewell.